and me, Na me. in this country What's all my I'm an example me, yeah, sure. that if you are a child of God yeah, you and they pour libation against you no, um, go, and, send the and they give you 14 days no. to live um, um, and if you are, do nine, such an after 60 days uh, yeah, uh, 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 you will still be dancing ah, no, so, we should do what, sir. Amen. Amen. Bishop Charles Ajinasari. Yes, Bishop Charles Ajinasari. Charlie, no bopo issue. We be like the man of God. Charlie, wasambi apao. And Bishop Charles Ajinasari, in one of A. N. sermons, you say he has set a precedent in this country for Christians that. No idol worshiper can threaten them. Also, being to me, no mufoko. He said he has set a history in this country. He is the one who has been able to stand up against idol worshippers. And how dare them to curse him when the Lord has, has not cursed him again? Sorry. This is Loyalty TV Studios, the best trendy news in Ghana and beyond. This is the place for you. So, subscribe to this channel, like, share. And put us on post notification so that whenever we post we get to see what we are doing on this platform on this episode we are bringing you the story of bishop ajinasari sermon in his church perez chapel international right here in accra at the perez do jolu junction ajinasari was preaching about how to overcome you know idol worshipers and all that and he chipping the thing that he he was giving a 14 day ultimatum to go and beg them he didn't go they couldn't do anything to him and up to 60 days he is still walking nothing has ever happened to him so he has set a precedent in this country to fellow christians that if i are christian they've given you the power yes to step on serpent and all that is written in the bible and no weapon shall force a forge against him shall prosper and every tongue that shall raise against him in judgment shall be condemned this can be found in Isaiah chapter 17, verses 54. I know you are saying, hey, this boy, he knows Bible. Yes, I know Bible. And as for the Bible, we know power, both Christian as a day here. So that is what Bishop Charles Ajinasari said. Let's go and watch the sermon of the man of God. Because immediately they invoke supernatural forces to work against them. In Numbers chapter 23, verse 8, it says, How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? How shall I defy whom the Lord has not defied? If God has not cursed me, so how dare you curse me? If God has not, ah, God has not defied me, a child of God. Uh, when you defy me, there is trouble. So Balaam couldn't understand. The king Balaam could. Uh, the king Balak could not understand. So he said, Balaam. I brought you to come and curse these people. In Numbers 23, verse 11, Balak said unto Balaam, What have you done unto me? I brought you to curse my enemies. And behold, you have blessed them all together. <laughs> Anybody that curses you, God turns it into your blessing. When they invoke spirits against you, when they make incantations against you, they are blessing you. When they say your life must be cut short, they are increasing your life. When they say that harm and destruction must come to you, they are opening a portal of protection and favor for you. Give the Lord praise. Give him praise. So it's important to remember. And me, in this country, I'm an example. That if you are a child of God, 
and they pour libation against you. And they give you 14 days to live. After 60 days, you will still be dancing. Amen. Amen. I mean, that history can never be erased. Amen. Amen. Because it was done publicly. All the sta TV stations took it, the social media took it. That the gods of Tanda and the ancestors will show a genasari in 14 days who controls the cosmic realm. And after 60 days, we are still here. And I am not going now. And I mean, I'm quiet. It is not time for me to go yet. I have, I have some more devils to cast out. Some more sick to heal. Some more people to empower. Some more teachings to release. Oh, give the Lord. Praise. Bishop Charles Ajinasari. Uh, sermon and then the message. He said he, he loved it. Or see, you people are saying a peace, peace. Bishop Ajinasari said he, he did love violence past. He said the kingdom of God suffered violence and out of violence they fought for it and they claimed. So he, as he did like that, if we bring violence coming, we will welcome it. But then, then the Bopo shrine. He is not going there to apologize to them today. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yesterday, yesterday night, he won't go there. But then very soon, in his own time, he has miracles to go and perform. He has people to go and deliver, to go and empower. So very soon, Bishop Charles Ajinasari says he will go there. And when he goes there, he is going in the full might of the Holy Spirit to go and do wonders like the Lord has ordained him to do. And how dare he, how dare them, cursed him when the Lord, when he had not been cursed by the Lord. So he has set a history in this country, first man of God to stand up against the shrine. Yes. Bishop Ajinasai, and I'm telling you, and it's because you say, Otum for GH collections. Yes. Otum for GH collections. Go there, get your best sneakers, your shoes, Charlie, London Cowboys, some pub one, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Some day you speak. Call them on this number. Uh, call them, you can go to their shop in Cantomanto or they will deliver it to your doorstep. Interact with the for gate Follow them on TikTok, Loyalty TV Studios, Instagram, uh, on TikTok or two for gh collection. The same on Instagram. My name is Joel Lishen. We meet again on this platform. Bye for now.